Hi, welcome to the next activity, Unit 4 in our C-Sharp web development class. In this, we're going to talk about Ajax as our main theme. So there's several things that we're going to accomplish in our activities. First of all, we're going to have a basic understanding of what Ajax is apart from anything with C-Sharp. So Ajax is not a language, it's a technique that uses JavaScript to update a certain portion of a web page so that way you don't have to refresh the entire browser every time somebody clicks a button. And so in this case, we're going to add a new song to a list. As you can see, we have a data entry form. You're going to type in the artist and title, and the pink area where the title and the artist are listed is automatically going to grow. It's going to append it. And the uh, entire page will just stay on the, uh, on the web page as normal. So just one little bar of information will appear. So that's an example of adding something with Ajax. Then we're going to go back into Visual Studio and program in C-sharp using Ajax as well. In this example, we're going to have a list of users such as Sherry, Melvin, Jerry, Velma, Wendy, and Kim. When we click one of these radio buttons, the section below is going to have some data. And the data is going to look like this. So the usual customer model view that you see, that's what you'd expect if you wanted to see one record, will not be displayed on its own web page. Instead, it will be displayed in the rectangle at the bottom here. So every time we choose a radio button, the data view at the bottom of the page will update, but the entire page itself will not have to update. So this is called partial page updates. And we'll do that using C Sharp and the uh, Visual Studio uh, tools. Also then, we're going to revisit the button grid so the button grid is just waiting for a solution like partial page updates. So in the previous version of this application, every time we clicked a button, the entire web page would redisplay, it would refresh. And so we're going to fix that by making only the single button on the page refresh. So that means we're going to have to define what a single button is, what the HTML code is. So in this case, you can see that a this uh, single button will include the picture itself, two little numbers below it, and then a boundary around the edge that would define what the clickable area is. And so, for instance, when you click uh, picture number zero, only the top left corner of the page will be updated, and all the rest of the 24 buttons will stay as they were. And so it'll be a better experience, especially when you are working on a slow internet connection. So this will give you an example of how to build an Ajax game. And so this will translate directly into the next milestone, which is to build a Minesweeper game that has clickable items. So instead of refreshing the entire Minesweeper page, it'll be the same where you display one at a time. Also, we're going to do some updates with our product application. So in a previous tutorial, we created this grid full of fake products. And you can see now that I've added an edit button, the yellow button there. So when you click edit, we want to be able to update the items that are on the page. So we're going to put a JavaScript and CSS enabled form called a modal on the middle of the screen. It will not refresh the page. It will not show a new entry form. It'll be the same page. So this will become visible. When we fill in the details of this form and push save, then it will go back to the original page and it will refresh only the item that was edited. So all the rest of the 999 products that are being displayed on your web form will not be updated. They'll stay the same and then only the edited one will change. And so that's partial page updates. So we got some interesting things to look forward to here in this activity. Let's get started in the next video.